Hello YouTube, it's Maurice here again, doing a demonstration on how to do timing on the Sato 3 cylinder range of glow engines when you converted them to spark ignition slash gas conversion. Um, this one is the 170R3 and it will work for all of the Sato glow 3 cylinder engines. So. Don't mind this engine is smaller than the others or bigger than the others. This setup will work for all of them. So stop the mumbling and go ahead. These are tools that you may need. A projector wheel to indicate what degree of your timing. I'm setting 30 degrees before top dead center. A device to tell you when your timing is spot on and a piston stop watering strategy too and a little locator to tell you what angle of your degree wheel so to get started I already put my center bracket on so what I need to do now is find top dead center for this engine I'm going to put my piston stop into the number one cylinder which is this one with this setup you only time in one cylinder only number one cylinder the magnet ring already set up in a way that once you time number one cylinder with the correct magnet everything's gonna run fine so trying to find top dead center with this so you could rotate your prop hub either direction till you could feel the piston hitting the piston stop and I think that's mine right there what I'm gonna do now is that's my number one cylinder magnet it comes in green and most time when you do get a kit from me or agent from a CH ignition it will have an indicator which one of the magnet is the number one cylinder magnet so this kit is a CH ignition conversion brand so I'm gonna put my magnet ring on just like that tidy then I'm gonna put my projector wheel so I could work out my angle so I could set the time in put a bolt on just hold it in place not too tight not to lose and tight will do and I'm gonna double check see if my top dead center is still set and yep I'm happy with that just like that what I'm gonna do now is put the locator pin on so it could help me identify or is my angle cut at? Good. I'm gonna bring that down to zero. Just like that. And the little indicator to tell you when is your timing set, there will be a series of light, red light, when it passes the mag the sensor. If the red light's on, that's when it's a north pole magnet, and if the green light is on, it's a south pole magnet. So I'm gonna plug that in like that. Then I'm gonna rotate the whole prop hub clockwise to 30 degrees. That's me there. I'm gonna spin my piston stop all the way in till it hits the piston again that's me 30 degrees so that's lock on there so what I need to do now what I could do is remove pin I don't need that because I know the piston stop is at 30 degrees that's not moving and as well I could remove this so 
I don't need these tools anymore. Um, need a battery of a choice, 4.8 to 7V. Plugged into your indicator. Oh, and it's right on the North Pole magnet. You can see a red light comes on there. Can move that. Don't need it there. And the way how you're doing this timing with the correct magnet, which is the one coming up now. The magnet need to be just before the sensor. So as soon as it's gonna meet the sensor, the green light will come on, and that's where you want to be. So you're gonna turn the magnet ring onto clockwise which the direction the prop is spinning until the buzzer goes off and the green light will come on and that's where you want to be so we'll turn magnet and that will be 30 degrees before top the center so that's my timing there now what you need to do is just back off slightly till the light just goes off there you go and you tighten up your grub screws and that's your timing set for your three cylinder Saito series of engines when you convert them to spark ignition and that's it there um, there's no complication to it I do know it's unplug everything put your prop on put your spark plugs in and the ignition battery fuel fuel loss of choice with this setup you could run either glow methadol or gas even self on the original carburetor and if you want a bit fancy you could convert it fully gas the Warbo carburetor from me or CH ignition Aegean you could get that kit from as well so that's pretty much it and don't worry about the other two cylinders the magnets already been evenly spaced for those two cylinders so they'll be automatically being timed as well once you time the number one cylinder correctly and pretty much it that's it for your timing and setup uh, for your three cylinder series Sato brand engines and thank you